Yeah, we are at the, at the start of the Una River. Uh, it's a free-flowing river up to now. And, but here, a couple of hundred meters above, there is the construction of a dam. It's the first dam on the Una. Um, and it's heavily opposed by the locals. And we're, I'm also here to support that, that resistance. And I think we must win this case. My feeling initially when I heard about it like two weeks ago, I would have never ever thought that somebody dares to even think to touch the Una. And then it is in EU country. That's another thing. It's not only in a EU country, it's in a Natura 2000 site. So a protected area of European importance. And they just ignored all of this and started construction. The, the local community heard about it when the machines are coming. That's another violation of EU legislation, you know. So for me, it was clear. I stopped my holidays and, and come here to support the local resistance. <laughs> Uh, can you, do you think it's possible to actually do something here? Of course. I'm, I'm absolutely sure this will not be built. It's just a question how fast we can stop it. That's the goal number one. We have to start the construction because the, 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 the diggers are working. They're destroying the river banks of the, of the Una. And we, we stopped it the last two days, the construction, also by physical blocking. Um, and that's our, our responsibility and our duty, I think, because the politicians using this case as a hot potato, none of the, the, the responsible ministries, uh, authorities, want to take a decision here. They always say, no, the other ministry is in charge. No, this is the other ministry is in charge. So they're not only not caring about this case, or, Maybe they are, they are right with damaging the UNA, but what they also do, you know, they're risking the, the, the freedom in this whole region, you know, but because people are, you know, they want to do something, but they lose trust in the, in, the, in the government here as well. You know, what if you can't stop this one and if they succeed in building this dam, what river would be safe and what projects could you then stop in a democracy in an EU country? And that's for me another issue. I mean, this is about the jewel here. You know, you should not build anything here. You know, this is the start of the river. But it is also at the same time about the value of the whole river. So in Bosnia, into Bosnia, what you do here will impact the Bosnian part with just a few kilometers downstream from here. Um, but for me, it's also unbelievable. It's about the credibility of the Croatian politics if they take protection of nature serious or is just on paper. You know, when they damage the Natura 2000 site, which is illegal, which is illegal, you can't do that. That is a breaking the laws, actually. And what on earth can we request then from Balkan countries that are non-EU, you know, to protect their rivers? I know how it is. I worked 12 years on the Balkan. I know this is not unusual. I know this is corruption. I know that there is money flowing. Everybody says that. Even the police told me yesterday, we all know that sooner, you know, some time ago, money crossed the table. Everybody knows that. But that's the reality. But that means we have to take responsibility as people, as Europeans that I am. You know, I'm not from Croatia. I'm not from Bosnia. I'm not from Albania, not from Northern Macedonia, but I work everywhere. But I'm feeling that these rivers belong to the European heritage. They belong to everyone. The, the trouts here that swim have no idea that they're in Croatia. They have no idea that they cross to Republika Srpska and then in Federation. They, you know, who the hell? And that's the good thing about this project. If we win this, I think it can also unite people. Rivers unite, you know, that we, you are all, you know, a lot of people in Bosnia, but Bihać, Bosanska Krupa, Martin Brod, you name it, uh, they're all Una. They're all the Una. It doesn't matter what the, the people say. There is the, the border. You know, that, that's a strong, I think that's a strong message also that Bosnians here, many people are here, and that gives us, the, and here the people, a lot of hope. You know, and I hope, if I have a wish, that a lot of Bosnians are coming within the next days because I think that next week 
is a, is a very important. They, the constructor said they will come back uh, Monday or Tuesday to continue the construction. And here, this is, as you know, is a probably is a very depopulated area, and many people leave tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. The, the diaspora people that live in Canada and everywhere. We need people. So. People of Bosnia, of the UNA, if you have time, come here next week, early next week. That is the crucial. I think next week, until Wednesday, it will be decided whether this will be built or not.